en una noche sin nubes. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Today's compilation is certain to have you at the edge of your seat and wanting more. Ready? Let's jump right in. The recent Chile fires were a tragic incident that left everyone disturbed and talking. However, during a live news report on the devastating incident, something unusual caught the eye of the one who sent in this clip. There's a mysterious silhouette moving through the flames. This strange being is definitely not human size and seems to be matching the nearby trees in height. A little digging around and reports from the nearby villages state that there was a giant bipedal figure moving through the fires and, get this, it was also waving its hands in the air whilst facing the inferno like in the footage. Some speculated it could be a human, but at the time when the fires were dangerously spreading, there were no humans around, which makes the hypothesis very unlikely. So what could this entity be? Are we looking at a forest creature disturbed by the approaching fires, or perhaps something more out of this world? Share your thoughts in the comments section. A hiker taking a break in the peaceful woods suddenly notices a figure emerging from the forest depths. The creature, covered in dark fur, moves gracefully toward where the hiker is hidden. Despite feeling a mix of awe and nervousness, the hiker zooms in on the distant figure, capturing the moment with a blend of excitement and disbelief. The creature, tall and covered in dark fur, grabs the hiker's interest as it nears the spring for a drink of water. Its imposing height, estimated at 8 to 9 feet, brings to mind the legendary Sasquatch. Aaron thinks this is the real deal, and I can see why, but Julius thinks otherwise. What do you think? Next, we take a look at the starry skies of Mexico. En una noche sin nubes, de hoy 2 de marzo de 2024, solamente esta mancha de nube, y tal vez una estrella a la derecha, sería la referencia. This recent and captivating encounter shows something rather strange flying through the night sky. The unidentified aerial phenomenon, UAP, takes on the shape of a fish with a luminous tail. It kind of looks like a blip, but there seems to be more to it. It's definitely not like any craft we have ever seen, and it has this strange feel to it. Aaron believes we may be looking at aliens and I can see where he's coming from, however Julius thinks this might be a hoax as the footage is too blurry. While I understand Julius, I doubt any random person in Mexico will have a 4K camera waiting for something like this to film. There's certainly got to be an iota of truth in the alien theory somewhere. What do you guys think? <laughs> Here we have another strange creature that was captured on cam, but this time it was not in the sky, but the Earth's waters. The strange creature was captured from a distance in the ocean. The creature appears to jump and dive into the water as it moves. As the footage gets closer, a four-legged creature comes in a view. It has shorter front legs and a long tail, and doesn't quite look like the usual fishy thing. What could this creature be? A new sea animal? An unknown resonant of the deep, or maybe something completely different? Some skeptics seem to believe that this is fake footage. Julius, our resident genius and scientist, however, thinks it's real. He thinks it's actually a bird caught in fishing gear. When you take a second look, you realize he may be right. I personally do think he's right. What about you? Okay. 
From the lens of a security camera, this strange object was spotted floating above the ground. While it resembles a balloon, there is an undeniable sense of sinister mystery surrounding its shape and presence. After a while, a man passing by comes face to face with this inexplicable entity and stops right there with shock or perhaps fear. If it's a balloon and not something to worry about, why would he have such a reaction? Unfortunately, we don't know who he is and we can't follow up to ask what he saw. But what's your take on this surreal encounter? Could it be another worldly entity manifesting in an inexplicable form? Or could it be a cleverly crafted prank designed to stir up intrigue and speculation? Share your thoughts. That's not a tornado. Nope, not at all. Would you believe me if I told you that what you're seeing is more or less a whirlwind of mosquitoes somehow darkening the sky with their movement? Sounds crazy, huh? According to Julius, however, this isn't impossible, and looking at the sheer magnitude of the swarm, it's definitely something to be worried about. This was taken not far from the Mother River and begs an intervention from the government. This apparently happened because the Mother River's water level was rising, and the river had become a breeding ground for the mosquitoes. Somehow, that led to what you're seeing on the screen. You don't need to be a health professional to know it creates a higher risk of disease like malaria and dengue. Despite the panic and apprehension, a sight of thousands, uh, no, millions of mosquitoes is an insight into nature and how powerful it is, don't you think? Kindly hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Doing so lets you stay updated and allows us to create more videos like this for you. Thank you for doing so. Now let's continue with the day's episode. It looks like we're taking fashion to another new level. These men just made a bag out of literally nothing. Yes, nothing. Wow. They crafted the bag from an extraordinary material known as aerogel, a substance predominantly used by NASA in their satellites to capture stardust. This bag is made of 99% of air. They also call it nothing because it's antimaterial and 1% of glass to hold the shape. But here's the interesting part. This substance is mostly made of air, meaning that 99% of the bag is air with a tiny bit of glass added to give it shape and substance. And the result is this odd-looking yet interesting bag that looks futuristic. This bag has become a symbol of cutting-edge design and technology, impressing both fashion lovers and inventors. Imagine carrying a bag made from the same stuff that used to catch stardust in space. Take a look at this. This farm is breeding these strange-looking creatures. Just look at their long necks. Some say that they're soft-necked shell turtles, but look at them closely. These creatures look nothing like the turtles we're used to seeing in mainstream media. A turtle owner shared that they have been raising a turtle since it was small as their thumb, and these creatures look nothing like it did while it was small. So what could they be? Some sort of hybrid creature? Any turtle lover or expert there to shed some light? The talks of alien existence did not start recently. No, it's believed to have been going on for millennia. This footage is said to have been taken back in 1995 in Puerto Rico. Just look at this creature. Doesn't it give you an alien vibe? The creature is crouched on the ground with thick spikes in a long line from the top of its head to its spine. Its legs are bent and don't look like anything human. All who have seen it in the paranormal community think it's an alien, but there is also a significant number of individuals who think it's a hoax. Now, this footage, though it has been out for a long time, experts have not been able to confirm if it's real or fake. So what do you think? 
On a tranquil seashore, a man with his two dogs leisurely strolling along the sands. Suddenly, a surprise guest emerges, a swordfish making a rare appearance close to the shore. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get the dogs out. Get the dogs away. Get the dog back. Get back, Charlotte. Charlotte. Get back. Get back. Now here's where the plot takes an unexpected turn. The swordfish exhibits peculiar behavior swimming away from the shore only to circle back toward land. It's not typical for swordfish to come so close to the shore, and it's even more unusual for one to return just a few seconds after visiting. There could be various reasons behind this unusual behavior, and one possible explanation is that the swordfish might be disorientated or distressed, prompting it to approach the shore in search of assistance. Larger marine animals sometimes display odd behaviors when they're in distress or facing health issues. On occasion, they may approach humans or vessels, possibly hoping for help or relief from whatever is affecting them. That could be the case in this situation, or did this big guy just lose his way in the ocean? Take a look at this footage. It was taken for a telescope. Someone was observing the moon when they saw this. It's a craft that was flying across the surface of the moon, and it appears to have been moving pretty fast. With technology getting better, regular people with telescopes and cameras can now see amazing things happening in space. Before, only big observatories could do this, but now anyone can join in, opening up a whole new era of space discovery. There are, however, some who think that seeing so much might push us to learn more about the universe. Others think it might lead to the birth of new conspiracies and inaccuracies. What do you think? In the summer of 2017, Mandy Trichel stumbled upon some peculiar bugs crawling around her house. These tiny intruders had a surprising resemblance to blackberries. If that doesn't intrigue you, I don't know what would. Once this hit the internet, lots of theories came up, including some where individuals believed this was of alien origin. Thanks to the sharp observations of an entomologist at Texas Invasives, the mystery surrounding these bugs is unraveled. This entomologist identified them as members of the Scotleridae family, commonly known as shield bugs. While it's disappointing that they aren't aliens, it's great to know we have such nice creatures on the planet. This African YouTuber is known for posting videos of himself running through the lush wilderness. In this particular video, as he dashes through the bushes, an unexpected turn of events unfolds. A strange humanoid creature, pale with large black eyes, emerges from the forest, giving chase to the running YouTuber. <laughs> Whether it's luck, speed, or both, the guy's running skills become his saving grace as he successfully outpaces this peculiar pursuer escaping unharmed. The video leaves viewers with a lingering sense of the unknown and a flurry of questions about the nature of this mysterious forest entity. What's your take on this bush-bound encounter? A real encounter with the unexplained or perhaps a well-crafted piece of digital mystique? <laughs> I know you're waiting for the next clip, but my new friend Bigfoot asked me to ask you if you liked and subscribed. If you haven't, please do so now. This is the world we live in now. Uh -huh. Have you seen the Apple Vision going around? I mean, it's such a cool invention, but then it's becoming too much. This man is playing basketball with the device on and he seems to be arguing with the air. He seems pretty aggressive just by himself, standing up to someone who isn't even there. Looks like we're losing touch with reality. 
What are your thoughts on getting an Apple Vision? Do you find yourself embracing the blend of technology and reality, or are you a tad cautious about potential consequences? Daytime, you crash, bro. That's game. Hey, homie. That's game, fam. Hey, 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 my man. Hey, my man, who, 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 who won? Huh? Who won, man? Me. The era of AI has brought numerous possibilities, yet it also sparks contemplation about the fine line between the virtual and the real. What's your stance on this advancing tech frontier? In a calm pond, someone sees a strange creature swimming below him. Take a look. The footage isn't the clearest out there, but from the clip we can tell they try to get a closer look. But whatever it is notices them and quickly swims away, leaving ripples in the water. But here's the interesting part. The creature looks like a turtle, but it moves faster than expected. Could it be a new kind of animal that scientists haven't discovered yet? As people wonder, they notice something else. The creature seems to be eating another animal from the pond. This adds even more mystery to the encounter. What could this unknown predator be hunting under the water? What do you think? Do you believe in exorcists? No? Well, take a look at this footage. The priest stands before a woman holding out a cross when he begins to pray for her. However, within moments, the atmosphere takes a chilling turn. The woman, seemingly possessed, rises and advances towards the priest. Efforts to restrain her prove futile, requiring the intervention of two men to hold her down while the priest continues his spiritual work. As the woman mutters strange words, an unsettling element creeps in. The gibberish spoken in a deeper tone, accompanied by an intense stare directed at the priest. Do you think this is real? Do you think it's a genuine case of otherworldly possession, or is it simply a staged performance? Kindly share your thoughts and experiences, if any, in the comments section. Now, what would you do if you saw this happening on the street below your apartment? If I were the one, I know I wouldn't be recording a TikTok, but you have to agree this is a rather curious development. What do you think could be going on here? Well, many who saw the clip felt there might be something wrong with the electric grid beneath the street, which is, well, getting intimate with the methane gas, if you know what I mean. While the suggested explanation is plausible, there could be other factors at play. What other factors, you ask? Well, the bad news is Julius isn't here with me right now, so I can't state them without making errors. The good news, however, is that there are some of you experts in this field, so I thought I'd ask you instead. Can someone explain what's going on? Next, we have a clip from a woman who captured footage of some levitating in the darkness. Take a look. Oh my god, that's a fucking person. Dude, flash the light! A few seconds in, and you can already tell that the scene is wrapped in mystery as a dark figure hovers in the air. The woman filming, seemingly bewildered, challenges the floating figure to turn on a light if it is human. As the video unfolds, the floating figure complies and flashes a light. What in the world is going on here? Are we looking at a person with superhuman abilities defying the laws of physics, or could it be someone using some kind of floating device? Well, we can definitely answer, but what's your take on the nature of this mysterious airborne encounter? In Turkey, a group of men captured this unusual sight in the heavens, a jellyfish-like unidentified aerial phenomenon gracefully navigating the sky. As the name goes, this, unlike the flying saucers that we're used to seeing, is shaped like jellyfish. It's believed to be alien-related, not quite sure if they're crafts or are actual creatures that float in our atmosphere, but there have been various sightings of them all over the world. 
Julius thinks the jellyfish UAP is too much of a stretch and thinks perhaps they could be some sort of advanced tech or drone if it's real. Yeah, that's right, folks. Julius thinks this might be a hoax, and for the first time, Heron actually agrees with him. But what do you think? This captivating snapshot captures the scene of a dense, ancient forest, a world where emerald green trees and vegetation seem to stretch to infinity. But let me pose a question. Can you see what lurks beyond these trees concealed within the shadows of this primeval grove? I do see it, but everyone seems to think I'm seeing things. What say you? In a time where mysterious sightings continue to proliferate, another enigma unfolds in our night skies. <laughs> There was a luminous object spotted in the sky one night. It had this rectangular shape, but looked like the moon. It's hard to make it out because it's hidden in the sky, but as it moves, you can see it. While the term UFO simply denotes an unidentified flying object, it doesn't necessarily imply one of extraterrestrial origin. There could be various explanations, ranging from atmospheric phenomena to human-made objects or, in some cases, natural celestial bodies. While I have my theories on what this might be, I'd like to hear yours. What do you think we could be dealing with here? Nature has a way of surprising us when we least expect it. Feast your eyes on this extraordinary creature. Can you guess what animal it is? If you thought it was a polar bear, you'd be off the mark. What you are looking at is a goat, believe it or not. It might resemble a curious hybrid of a goat and a bear, but it's actually a mountain goat. Just goes to show that you can't always judge a book by its cover in the animal kingdom. In the vivid landscapes of Silverton, Colorado, under the scorching afternoon sun, a unique adventure unfolds. Our recorder, engaged in a road adventure through this captivating terrain, had their attention diverted by a remarkable sight. Amidst the natural splendor, they captured a glimpse of a towering brown and hairy creature. A voice in the video's background whispers of an enigmatic being appearing deeply engrossed in a mysterious quest before suddenly coming to a rest. As excitement builds, another voice chimes in, emphatically identifying this elusive figure as a Sasquatch. An elusive creature. All right, just squat it down. Yeah, let me see your camera. I'll do it. The sight of this creature stirs the imagination and fuels the ongoing quest to unlock the secrets of these fabled and mysterious creatures that, according to legends, roam the remote and untamed landscapes of Silverton. But what do you think about this Sasquatch sighting, real or fake? Share your thoughts with us. Have you ever seen chickens play the freeze game? If you haven't, boy, are you in luck. Enjoy. Goodness. Where y'all going? Where are you going? <laughs> you ready for some grubs? Let's go! A man owning a poultry farm walked into his bird standing still for what looked like four to five minutes. Perplexed, he recorded the whole thing and posted it online. How is this even possible? The truth is, it shouldn't be, and the thought of it is just bizarre. Jesters who saw the whole thing told him his birds were probably playing the freeze game. You know, that game where you stand still after the music stops. While that's something fun to think about, our paranormal enthusiasts think the whole thing is a glitch in the matrix. What do you guys also think? This daring individual embarked on a nocturnal adventure deep within the woods, aiming to capture some compelling footage. Little did they know that their venture would take a rather traumatizing turn. On the forest floor, the filmmaker stumbled upon a most unusual sight. It was a creature unlike any other, boasting a bizarre form and crawling along the ground. Its head bore an eerie resemblance to a skull.
Curiosity got the best of him, prompting a closer look at this being. However, it soon became apparent that this peculiar creature was not alone. Emerging from the pitch black darkness was an even more horrifying figure, one that seemed to defy explanation. This elusive beast possessed a goat skull head and a humanoid body shrouded in an unsettling veil of obscurity. With relentless determination, it charged toward the unsuspecting filmmaker, sending shockwaves of terror through their very being. Filled with sheer dread, the filmmaker made a hasty retreat, fleeing from this nightmarish encounter. As spine-tingling as this footage might appear, our team has diligently scrutinized it and ultimately concluded it was nothing more than a well-orchestrated hoax. But we are curious to know your thoughts on the matter. Do you agree with our assessment? Before you move on to the next clip, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and even drop a comment in the comment section. It goes a long way to help us produce more videos for you. Thank you very much for doing so. It means a lot. Now, moving back to the day's episode. The next footage is so interesting that I can feel my Shakespeare tendencies building up. A group of Ghostbusters receive a cryptic tip about a house steeped in ghostly legends. They're decked out in their ghost hunting gear, ready to dive headfirst into a real life paranormal thriller. Now they roll up to the spectral house, but surprise, surprise, it's as if the spirits inside somehow knew they were coming. No ghostly antics, no creepy vibes, so they decide to set up a camera, leave it behind, and then sneak off to watch from a distance. Classic Ghostbuster strategy, right? But just when they thought it was a wild ghost chase, things take a freaky turn. Out of the shadows emerges this strange-looking creature. It's got a dark rear end and looks like something out of a nightmare. And it's just casually strolling around, checking the place out. But hold on to your seat. Out of the blue, a piece of the ground breaks away. Now, most folks would jump out of their skin, but not this creature. It's like it's been expecting it. And then it happens. It reveals its true form with ghostly features and eyes that seem to pierce right through you. No more. I heard from a friend who heard from a friend stories. This time, they've got rock-solid evidence. It's like living in a scene from the X-Files right in their own lives. So here's the million-dollar question. What would you do if you suddenly found yourself face-to-face -face with something this spine-chilling? Now, let's take a look at another puzzle. In Japan, a mysterious sighting unfolded as a cloud resembling a donut appeared in the sky. The cloud seems to be very white and has a slight glow to it. According to reports, this appeared in the sky right before they had a 7.6 earthquake. While it's very strange, there are some talks that this same type of cloud appeared in Turkey as well just before another earthquake. In some cultures, unusual natural occurrences are often interpreted as signs or messages from the divine. This suggests these clouds could be premonitions or warnings of impending danger. But some skeptics think it's just a blue beam projection, a technology that could potentially create optical illusions in the sky. The paranormal community, however, are convinced that what we are looking at is a portal a portal to another world or universe. Which theory among these three do you agree with? A cosmic warning, a technological illusion, or a glimpse into another dimension? This next one is a compilation of deer exhibiting strange behaviors. They even, dare I say, look possessed. You can see the animals rolling on the ground, some moving in circles and some aimlessly running about. As much as some would like to classify this as paranormal, it's not. Yes, I did say they looked possessed, but with a little research, you'd realize that these animals are actually suffering. The cause behind these distressing actions is not of supernatural origin, rather it points towards a tragic and real condition known as chronic wasting disease. This malady affects various deer species, causing neurological degeneration, behavioral abnormalities, and eventually death. 
It's a devastating condition, and the footage serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges that wildlife faces, including disease that can impact their populations. While the scenes are unsettling, understanding the natural causes behind such behavior allows us to address these issues with empathy and work toward the conservation and well-being of our fellow inhabitants on this planet. If you haven't already hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment so far, could you please do so now? It goes a long way to help us to make more videos like these ones for you. Thank you so much. Now, back to today's episode. Still on stealthy reptiles, on a serene day far from the bustling world, an enchanting scene unfolds in the wilderness. A graceful doe, perhaps savoring a rare moment of tranquil respite, approaches the water's edge. Its measured movements hint at a profound connection with the natural world, as if crafting a memory to be etched in time. Yet nature's drama is rarely far behind, and this peaceful interlude is suddenly disrupted. With uncanny swiftness, a silent, lurking predator emerges. A croc, a relic of prehistoric times. Its presence shatters the stillness, a cruel reminder that survival in the wild is a relentless dance of life and death. The croc surges forward, jaws agape, its singular intent clear to ensnare the unsuspecting doe securing its next meal. But in the intricate web of this ancient wilderness, even the prey can be a marvel of resilience. As the croc closes in, the doe's instincts ignite. It springs into action, defying gravity in a breathtaking leap, soaring to unimaginable heights. In that split second, the tables turn, and the croc's prize slips through its grasp. The doe's acrobatic evasion is nothing short of astonishing, a testament to the primal strength that flows through every sinew. The encounter remains shrouded in mystery, the exact location obscured by the vastness of remote wilderness. Yet this fleeting spectacle of survival leaves an indelible mark on our understanding of the untamed world, where every day, every moment is a story of life's fierce determination and nature's uncompromising balance. YouTuber Monsterfish5000 had a rather peculiar experience while in Oklahoma and generously decided to share it with his audience. In the dimly lit distance near a streetlight, he insisted he spotted something out of the ordinary. He described the creature as humanoid, but at first there appeared to be nothing there. However, just a few moments later, this mysterious figure emerged from the inky shadows. The creature was cloaked in a dark robe with an eerily pale head that drew a great deal of intrigue. Upon closer examination, when the footage was diligently zoomed in, we could catch a glimpse of this entity's distinctive features. It had an otherworldly green complexion, coupled with pointed ears, and a rather prominent nose resembling none other than a goblin. This footage quickly spread like wildfire across the internet, captivating audiences with its spine-tingling aura. Yet, as time went on, the truth came to light. It was ultimately unveiled as an elaborate hoax concocted by a band that donned goblin masks as a promotional stunt. But even with that knowledge in mind, there's something about this footage that still sends shivers down the spine. After all, the line between the real and the surreal can sometimes be a rather thin one. I don't know, but you tell me what you think that is. It looks like something out of an arcade game. In this recent and intriguing footage, a peculiar light was observed moving in circular patterns in the night sky. The unusual movement raised questions about the light's origin and nature, as stars typically don't exhibit such behavior. Skeptics ever watchful cast doubt upon the authenticity of this celestial waltz, proposing the involvement of CGI in crafting such enchantment. Yet others lean toward the possibility of something more enigmatic. Could it be a celestial phenomenon, a dance of light refracted through the Earth's atmospheric layers? Alternatively, does it signal a visitation from realms unknown or just someone having a little fun with a flashlight? This is the ancient Kal Barev Temple, 
For all of you who are unfamiliar with it, the ancient Karl Barev temple holds reverence as a sacred site dedicated to Karl Barev, a formidable manifestation of the Hindu deity Lord Shiva. Depicted as a fierce figure with dark skin carrying a skull, Karl Barev is venerated as the ruler of time and death in Hindu mythology. Devotees believe in his role as a protector and worshippers seek his blessings through devoted prayers and rituals at this revered temple. However, during this tour through the temple, this person filmed something eerie. Behind the statue at the entrance of the temple, a dark entity pokes its head out. Before you jump up and scream, it's a shadow, you should know that that's not how shadows behave. Also, the space behind this statue is too small for a person to fit in without being spotted. So, what exactly was that dark figure? Is it a manifestation of one of the gods, a demon, or is this whole thing a complete hoax? Share your thoughts in the comments section. In the spooky confines of what was once a cozy cafe, a malevolent presence materializes with malevolence swirling in the air. Security cameras, once the silent observers of mundane activities, now capture a scene that defies explanation. As the footage unfolds, refrigerators burst open one by one, their contents clattering to the floor with an ominous, unnatural force. The atmosphere trembles with preternatural energy, as if the very essence of the room has been tainted by a sinister entity. Containers spill their secrets only to be inexplicably closed again like a chilling joke played by the unseen malevolence that now rules this space. It's a tale that might leave you both shivering and bewildered. Probably thought there was going to be a party and it was going to have a boo. On that note, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now. It really helps us out a ton and gives me the opportunity to keep making videos for you. Thank you very much. Moving on. This unsettling footage depicts a scene that indeed evokes discomfort. What's immediately apparent is a human head lying on the ground in what appears to be a chaotic, disheveled room. The unsettling part is that this human head is connected to an utterly bizarre and nightmarish body, one that resembles an amalgamation of arms almost akin to a spider's limbs. This strange creature looks to be wriggling about. It's a recipe for instant chills. Interestingly, this peculiar snapshot has earned quite a reputation in the Vietnamese community as cursed footage. But guess what? It's now made its way to the wide world of social media as a gift, haunting the feeds of unsuspecting users. Don't be surprised if it leaves you feeling deeply unsettled. Somewhere in India, someone captured this bizarre situation. There on a field was a strange-looking object made of fire. What makes the situation even more peculiar is the presence of a being, pure white, walking away from the fiery object and eventually shooting up into the sky. Now, the armchair UFOlogists and paranormal enthusiasts are in full swing. Could it be an angel, a celestial being making a pit stop in the earthly realm, or are we looking at an intergalactic tourist who decided to make a fiery entrance before taking off again? The skeptics might be rolling their eyes, whispering about elaborate hoaxes or perhaps an unattended bonfire gone rogue, but ah, the believers are already weaving tales of divine visitations and extraterrestrial encounters. How would you react if you casually saw military men in your city casually shooting blanks in the name of a drill? Well, for the inhabitants of Riga, this was no hypothetical question. It's actually happened. It turns out that this is a usual thing in Latvia, and people are informed way before time. That's why everyone is moving around casually as if nothing's happening. I know many who saw this when it first hit the internet were worried, but personally, I want to visit Latvia just to experience this. Who knows, I might even join the army. What do you think?
Behold the enchanting theater of the skies as unveiled in this captivating footage. At Angel Creek, nestled near the iconic Chimney Rock, a celestial performance commences. As we journey through time, we find that even in the days of old, the heavens served as humanity's cosmic timepiece. In this video, the clouds dance with an almost urgent rhythm, orchestrating a changing of the guard, a celestial relay from the brightest star to the night's radiant guardian, the moon. Watch as the fast-paced clouds create a shifting canvas in the sky. With each moment's transition, the very essence of the weather transformed before our eyes. The clouds unite in a mass, casting shadows across the land. Day gracefully cedes to evening, and the world is cloaked in twilight. The skies, now painted in hues of white, black, red, and yellow, cradled the moon at their center as if protecting a cherished secret. Behold the crescent moon gracing the canvas with its presence. Upon closer scrutiny, it reveals a full circle of its luminous form, a celestial enigma, and a testament to the wonders of the universe. In this moment, the world bears witness to nature's grand spectacle. As we gaze upon this celestial ballet, one cannot help but ponder the cosmic wonders that envelop us. Is this a common sight in your corner of the world? As it is with this video where viewers from far and wide share the same awe, it's clear that such celestial displays remain timeless, evoking wonder and reverence for the boundless mysteries of our cosmos. Now, I know I went full Shakespeare and poetry there, but <laughs> what can I say? A beautiful moon is a way of bringing out the poet in me. So this TikTok page called Official GPT dropped a serious, airy video that got everyone talking. In the clip, the person is filming in the woods at night. Things were just your typical spooky forest scene until a strange noise caught their attention. He quickly swung the camera toward the source of the noise and bam, there it was, something super creepy. This airy creature was chilling on a tree branch, looking all ghostly and pale, with its long, dark hair making the whole scene even more unsettling. And then, if that wasn't freaky enough, the creature extended its hand, and out of the blue, fire appeared. Yeah, you can guess what happened next. The person behind the camera decided it was time to beat a hasty retreat out of those woods. I don't blame him. But that's some seriously hair-raising stuff right there. A tragic incident occurred in El Salvador when a car drove off a bridge. This tragic incident, however, led to a rather shocking discovery. A few moments after this happened, a truck passed by the scene with the camera capturing an eerie sight. A cloaked dark figure atop the vehicle, resembling the Grim Reaper. Given what had just happened some moments ago, this was not too shocking. The Reaper had come to collect the soul of the unfortunate accident victim. Now, logic often challenges us to find rational explanations for such occurrences. Some might argue that it's a trick of light and shadow, or perhaps an oddly shaped object on top of the truck. However, the symbolism of a figure resembling the Grim Reaper in the aftermath of a fatal accident is undeniably too much of a coincidence. Whether one believes in the supernatural or not, these moments can evoke a sense of awe and make us ponder the mysteries of life and death. But then again, we can't help but wonder if we just saw a Grim Reaper on the job. In an unexpected turn of events, a trail camera owner retrieved his device from the woods, hoping to find footage of wild animals, but was met with a truly shocking discovery. Staring directly at the camera was a deer, yet far from ordinary. Its antlers and eyes glowed in a haunting shade of orange, imparting an eerie and almost supernatural aura. Looks like the creature just crawled out of the pits of hell. What could this be? Conspiracy theorists and supernatural enthusiasts are having a field day with this one. Theories are flying left and right, with some suggesting it's a spirit animal, others a deer with some otherworldly energy, and another subsect stating that perhaps it's a forest guardian keeping an eye on the trail cam owner. While these theories are wild, there are those on the flip side questioning if this is a case of post-production wizardry. Perhaps someone got creative with editing software, turning a regular deer into a luminescent woodland mystery. 
Logically speaking, I know the last one is the easiest to believe among all the listed factors, but I also want to believe we're dealing with the supernatural. What do you guys think? On a blistering, hot, sun-drenched afternoon, we've got a spine-tingling tail that'll send shivers down your spine. Check this out. A quaint house basking in the sun's relentless glare. But what's up on that roof? Prepare to be intrigued and maybe a tad horrified. Our footage unveils something both chilling and sinister. It's a towering, hair-covered figure not unlike a creature straight from your worst nightmares, casually sauntering across the roof. But here's where it gets truly hair-raising. This airy rooftop prowler doesn't seem bothered by the scorching sun. No sunglasses or sunscreen required, apparently. This enigmatic being remains a puzzling riddle, lurking in plain sight. No name, no backstory, just pure mind-bending mystery. It's like the shadowy stuff of late-night horror movies, only it's happening right there under the unforgiving daylight. So let your imagination run wild, dear viewers. What on earth could this creature be, and what in the world is it doing up there? Thoughts? You know that spine-tingling sensation of being watched while you're out for a nighttime stroll? Those moments can send shivers down your spine, right? Well, these folks know exactly what I mean. Out there in the darkness, these individuals suddenly caught sight of something eerie, a pair of glowing orbs. These orbs, like eyes, would intermittently flicker as if scrutinizing their every move. Talk about finding your very own elusive stalker. This mysterious entity remained hidden in the shadows, eyes locked on its unsuspecting observers. It wasn't until a brave soul in the group spoke up, alerting the entity to their awareness of its presence. And poof, like that, it vanished into the inky abyss. Now those luminous orbs could belong to any number of things. Perhaps a creepy night prowler, a curious animal, or even something from the realm of the unexplained. These folks sure dodged a bullet, and they'll probably be a bit more cautious on their future nocturnal adventures. A couple buys a 1960s home thinking they've hit the vintage jackpot only to uncover Pandora's box of strange artifacts left by the previous owners. Among many of the things they found was a suitcase they decided to open and check. When they opened it, they were shocked to find another smaller replica of the suitcase inside. Apart from that, they found a pencil, an eraser, and candy. Nothing out of the ordinary, but guess what they saw when they opened the smaller one? There was a doll strapped into the suitcase. Now, I don't know about you, but this looks like the scene from a horror movie where people tamper with cursed items, and then all hell breaks loose. The couple was very creeped out by this. I mean, who straps a doll into a suitcase and then puts the suitcase into another suitcase, <laughs> if the thing is not possessed? I think they should move out of the house, and if you were in such a situation, would you have opened the suitcase? Next, we visit the coast of Point Doom, California, where there's apparently an underwater structure that has sparked speculation and fueled many conspiracy theories. It was reportedly discovered in 2014, yet attempts to venture in it have been thwarted by challenges created by its geographical location, which include but are not limited to strong currents, along with potential risks of decompression illness due to its depth in the water. So what are some of the theories circulating about the structure? Some of these theories include the fact that it's an alien base being converted to a government facility, among others. While Aaron and I love wild theories, even we have a lot of questions. For starters, if the government is trying to convert an alien base into one of its facilities, why would its images be accessible to anyone using Google Earth? Don't get me wrong, we're all always open to these possibilities, but the fact just don't add up. Can any one of you who lives there confirm this for us? Would really appreciate it.
So here's a rather spine-tingling story captured by a street security camera in a quiet town. In the dead of night, this video shows a girl dressed in a white gown, but her movements are far from ordinary. She's walking in a strangely crouched position, adding an unsettling aura to her presence. As she gets closer, things take a very strange turn. The girl suddenly crouches down even further, and then, in the blink of an eye, she just vanishes into the ground, as if the earth itself swallowed her up. Creepy, right? But that's not the end of it. After her disappearance, another girl emerges, and guess what? She repeats the whole unnerving act, crouching and vanishing into the ground. Now, what's perplexing is that they appear to be the same person caught in a bizarre, inexplicable loop. This weird and mysterious reoccurrence raises a whole bunch of questions. What could the story behind this eerie, repetitive apparition be? In the darkness of the night, an unknown person with a camera reveals a secret meeting, skillfully capturing a rare glimpse of something mysterious. They're safely watching from a window, making sure they're not seen. At first, the mysterious visitor is hard to make out, like a blurry, pale shape. But as they step into the light, we see what they really look like. They're short and small, standing on two thin legs, with a face as pale as moonlight. This whole situation is like a puzzling mystery that really gets your imagination going. Is it some kind of mythical creature, something from another world that's on the edge of what we know? Even when the person with the camera gets a closer look, this intriguing figure keeps its unique charm, showing us that extraordinary things can be found in unexpected places. After an explosion was heard, this strange light was seen in the sky, its bright orange, and moved downward, vanishing into the night sky. <gasps> what is that? Some say it's a flare gun, probably shot from the vicinity of the explosion as a distress signal. It's a common enough scenario and makes sense right? Well, not everyone shares the sentiment, and many believe there's more to the situation than meets the eye. As the camera shakes, some keen observers point out the fact that the streetlight and the mysterious skylight share a suspiciously similar shimmy, and this naturally leads to some skepticism. Could the whole thing be the result of CGI? Many seem to think so. Believers in the paranormal, however, insist that there's something ominous happening in the footage. Personally, I don't see it, and Julius, my new assistant whose judgment I trust, doesn't see anything. Even Aaron, the believer of all things paranormal, thinks something might be trying to pull a fast one on us. What do you think? What is that? Oh my goodness! Oh my god. Something exploded. Wow. What is that? Cows found mutilated, some of them cut with precision and their bodies seemingly untouched with no bloodshed. If you thought that was weird, you might want to strap up for a mystery that's as baffling as it is unsettling. This farmer woke up to find his cows victims to mutilation. For decades, this airy phenomenon has left farmers scratching their heads and, in this recent clip, the livestock meet their demise in a strangely precise manner. They were found on their sides with faces cut along the jawline and tongues removed. Weirdly, two of the cows sport circular cuts, taking away the anus and external genitalia. What makes this scene even more perplexing is the lack of blood, as if the whole operation was carried out with surgical precision by an otherworldly force. The farmer, leaning toward the extraterrestrial side of the spectrum, believes that aliens might be harvesting animal parts. The big question remains, for what purpose? With many varying opinions, there is not one clear answer for this. If we were to ask you though, what would you say is happening? Extraterrestrial experimentation, secret government projects, or perhaps a well-coordinated prank that has spanned decades? Share your thoughts with us. In the hidden depths beneath the endless waves, a remarkable and awe-inspiring moment unfolds. This intriguing footage appears to have been captured through the lens of a submersible as it encounters a colossal and enchanting creature lurking in the watery abyss. This astonishing sea-dweller, 
often described as a marine monster, boasts the form that defies conventional categorization. With a visual resemblance to a shark but adorned with unusually dull teeth, it presents an appearance akin to a melting candle, its massive size dwarfing everything else in its vicinity. This mesmerizing spectacle evokes both wonder and mystery. It's unlike anything witnessed before, reminding us of the boundless mysteries that the deep oceans hold. The underwater world is a realm where fantastical creatures may still remain, hidden from our knowledge, and every discovery like this reminds us of the captivating secrets yet to be unveiled beneath the waves. Share your own thoughts and speculations about this extraordinary sea creature. It's evident that the ocean's mysteries run as deep as the waters themselves. An explorer was wandering around the woods on the Isle of the Night, minding his own business, when he noticed something rustling in the leaves nearby. Naturally, he did what any of us would do. He whipped out his camera to document this mysterious occurrence. What he saw next, though, was truly out of this world. A creature emerged from behind the bushes, and it looked like one of those stereotypical aliens we often see in cartoons and movies. You know the ones. Green skin, a massive head, and those big, black, unmissable eyes. But here's the kicker. The extraterrestrial visitor didn't stick around for a chat. After a brief appearance, it vanished right back into the darkness behind those same bushes. Oh, and to make things even stranger, there was the unmistakable sound of a chopper hovering above. Now that raises the question, were they after our odd-looking friend, or is there something else going on here? <gasps> Ryan! Oh my god, Ryan! Two New Yorkers seeking refuge from a snowstorm in the balmy confines of Fort Lauderdale found themselves face to face with a phenomenon they likely hadn't expected, a tornado. Witnessing their first tornado, they trained their gaze on the awe-inspiring spectacle unfolding before them. The tornado, a force of nature with its agenda, danced unpredictably from place to place, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. As you watch the footage, you can see the tornado's power as it effortlessly lifts objects into the air and transforms the serene waters below into a chaotic battleground. Hopefully, no one got hurt, but it's safe to say that these individuals were mighty glad they were nowhere near it. I'm getting a video. There's this huge thing making a re-entry right now. In this next clip, a man on the road becomes an unwitting witness to a mesmerizing event, a mysterious ball of light gracefully guiding through the sky. Leaving behind a radiant trace, it almost seems as if the object is signing the heavens with its luminosity. A huge fireball up in the sky. That's actually sick. One question lingers. Was this celestial phenomenon a mere meteor in its fleeting brilliance, or could we be looking at extraterrestrial visitors camouflaged in such a manner so they would appear unsuspecting? It's hard to say, really. On one hand, I see a meteor. On the other, I know how far our extraterrestrial neighbors will go to keep their presence a myth. So what do you guys think is happening here? Share your thoughts with us. Late night adventurers embarked on an evening excursion with the intention of exploring an abandoned sewer deep within the heart of the forest. However, their adventure took an unexpected turn. Upon reaching the entrance of the sewer, they were greeted by a truly perplexing sight. Standing at the gate that guarded the entrance was a strange creature. It was swathed in shadow, making it exceptionally challenging to discern its features. The bizarre creature appeared to be in the process of scaling the gate, and this unusual encounter was enough to give the intrepid adventurers a serious case of the heebie-jeebies. In response to this weird discovery, the group made the unanimous decision to call off their mission, preferring to err on the side of caution. Well, it's that time again, folks. Another glimpse into the world of cryptids, and this time it's the ever-elusive Bigfoot. So what's the deal this time? 
In this footage, we get a peek at a creature deep within the woods. It's got this shaggy brown fur and massive arms, and it stands tall like a towering seven to eight feet. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Could it just be a gorilla? Well, the plot thickens. See, the area where this fella was spotted isn't known to host gorillas or apes. And here's the kicker. This creature was standing on two upright legs, not the typical hind legs of a bear, so that pretty much rules out our usual suspects. All signs seem to point to the one and only explanation. Bigfoot. What do you think? Is this the real deal, or do we have another cryptid mystery on our hands? In this next clip, we encounter a seemingly supernatural phenomenon, an ordinary roll of toilet paper suspended in mid-air, frozen in time. No need for supernatural explanations here. This peculiar phenomenon is a masterpiece crafted by none other than humans and the cold. All it took was a dry toilet paper and a splash of water left exposed to the bone-chilling elements. The result? A mid-air spectacle, a frozen masterpiece. It shows weather conditions are getting worse by the day. Hot places are cranking up the heat, and cold places are turning into icy wonderlands. This sure serves as a chilly reminder of the changing climate. Just a quick reminder before the next clip comes. If you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed, could you do so right now? You wouldn't want me to send a Bigfoot after you, now would you? We kick off today's episode with a capture from a farm where a perplexing discovery was made. Our discoverer, who also doubles as a farmer, stumbled upon a creature with a striking resemblance to the legendary Chupacabra. The creature barely had any hair on its skin and looked a little strange and perhaps sickly. While many would have thought that they were dealing with a canine suffering from mange, our discoverer insists that this was a chupacabra. According to him, he'd noticed other things which made him sure it could be a chupacabra. For one, his chickens had been mysteriously disappearing in a way that was reminiscent of the work of the chupacabra. We're not exactly sure if he was finding the chickens with their blood drained. If he was, it could entertain the possibility of a chupacabra. Other than that, my team and I believe he may have simply encountered a canine suffering from mange. The disappearance of his chicken could also be associated with the same creature we're seeing, or coyotes and other predators that may live around him. What do you guys think though? Is that really a chupacabra? Or is the farmer simply seeing things that are not there? Share your thoughts in the comment section. You might want to hold on to your thoughts on technological advancement because we've got a glimpse into the future of airport check-ins with this next clip that's both awe-inspiring and very questionable. Doing all biometrics now. Check it out. Welcome to 1984. A man recorded this video in the Houston airport, revealing what, according to him, might be the future of airport check-ins. The new system relies on biometrics, where you stand in designated spot, and the screen scans your face, eliminating the need for traditional boarding passes. The rapid integration of biometrics in airport procedures is a good thing, but that means that tech is making bolder steps into our daily lives. Soon AI will be able to read a human inside and out and track our every move. How does that make you feel? Is it a good move into the future or the beginning of our doom? And while you ponder on that, we'll draw the curtains to today's episode. Thanks for staying with us. Uh, oh yeah, uh, before you go, are there clips or videos you think we should have featured by now that we haven't? Well, the good news is you can share them with us and we'll post them crediting you. Please send any such footage, including ones you recorded yourself, to us via classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll do our thing and include it in our next episode. We can't wait to receive what you have. Share this video with someone you love. See you in the next one.